Hey there everybody, welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if this is your first time. Today we're at Six Flags Frontier City and what I am doing today is I'm going to get on every single ride and see how long it takes to get through every single ride. Right now it is one o'clock uh, on a Sunday so we're gonna go in, I'm gonna go to the, I think it's the Thunderbird first, and that's gonna start our challenge and see how long it takes to get on every single ride. I'll go into some descriptions on the rides as much as I can. If I can record on the rides, I will also do that, but I most likely can't because Six Flags has a rule where you can't record on most rides, but if I can, I'll put it in today's vlog. But anyway, let's get started on today's challenge. All right, everybody, it is not called the Thunderbird. It is called the Diamondback, and we are to our first ride. Um, let's see, it is 1.05 right now. Uh, so I'm gonna count for this challenge. Anytime that I enter the queue, that's when I will start. So this one's gonna start at 1.05, and we're gonna see how long the wait is for this one. So far, there's no line at all whatsoever. So this is pretty much gonna be a walk-on. Uh, I think so, at least. Well, let's see when we get up to the top there might be a little bit of a queue actually I can see right now I don't know if you can tell but there is nobody up there so walk on on a Sunday here at Frontier City all right so yeah it was a walk on I got on on the first cart and they said I can record so I'll get uh, as best as a video as I can all right here we go guys That was the ride, guys. All right, so yeah, that was a walk on. It's a 112, so in total, it took me like seven minutes to get on, off the ride, and ride it. So now I'm walking, and we're gonna go to the right side. Uh, I don't know what ride it is next, but I'll tell you in a second. All right, here's our next ride. It is Quick Draw. It's like a Disney dark ride. It's a shooting game. Um, you just go around. I'll record inside here. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, it is 114. Can y'all see? I don't know if you can see. It's 114, and I'm getting in line right now. And we're going to see how long it takes to get off of this ride. So, 126. That was about a, what, 16 minute wait. And we're on. It's a, like I said, it's a gun shooting game. And I'm going to be shooting. Let's see how many points we can get today. I think we're at the end. Got 480 points. Here's our next ride. I don't know what it's called. I've actually never been on this ride. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get a POV of this ride because it's a water ride. I'm putting put my camera up so it doesn't mess up. But it is 1.30. Can y'all see? It's 1.30. That last ride took about 15 to 20 minutes to do. And we're gonna see how long it takes to get on this ride. And I will let you know. So we're gonna say we're getting on this ride at 1.30 and I'll update y'all after we get done. Oh yeah, this ride is called the Log Flume, for any of y'all wondering, the Log Flume. So I just got off that ride, it is 1.48. So 18 minutes to get, 
get in that line, get on the ride and get off and everything. Remember, it is a water ride. So I would say from a scale from one to 10, I got about three wet, like just over here on my shoulder. It wasn't that bad. Uh, so after this, we are going to, looks like it's called the Winged Warrior. Um, it is 148 right now. Um, I'm pretty much gonna get it in the line right now and we'll see how long it takes to get off of this ride. Again, if I can record, I will. If I can't, I'll catch y'all after. So it is two o'clock, so about 12 minutes to get on that ride. I was not allowed to record on it. Um, here's this ride right here. Soaring Eagle. This is a paid attraction, $9 per person. Um, but it's if you do want to get on it, it's a walk on. So we'll pretend that I paid the nine dollars and I say I would wait on there for now. Nah, never mind, I'm not gonna do that. I would say there's a 10 minute wait. We're gonna go to our next ride. It is let me see if I find my watch. It is 201 and we're gonna head in this direction. Um, the rapids I'm gonna say for the last ride so I'm not walking around the park all soaked, but. Other than that, we're going to go head to our next ride. Also, I know this has nothing to do with the video, today's video, but you have all the Fright Fest stuff coming out. And I will be coming to do a Fright Fest video. I'll probably do an update and talk about the haunted houses and talk about my experience last year. And then I'll probably do one, one more of going into all the haunted houses. And uh, that will come soon. We're coming up on our next ride. The Sidewinder, it is 2.03. I'm gonna go ahead and get in line and see how long it's gonna take. After I get off that ride, I might go in that direction. This right here, the Gunslinger, is not operating today, so that won't count towards our video. So yeah, uh, 2.03, I'm about to get in line. So that was a walk-on, it's 2.05. I'm already on the ride right here. Um, if I can record it, I will record it like the other rides, but yeah, walk-on. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's uh, I've been here an hour and gotten on what five, six rides already. So, yeah. yeah. And for those of you that don't know, it's like carnival style ride that just spins you around real fast. Uh, that's what this ride is that I'm about to get on. All right, here we go. This is actually my first time on this ride here at Frontier City. Anyway, I'll see how fast it goes. Uh oh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot how fast this thing spins you around. Oh, do not get on this ride if you just ate. Oh, man. Uh, Alright, I'm piecing out. It is, uh, let me see. I never can find my watch on here. Can y'all see? 210, walk on, got on that ride. Super fast, going to my next ride. I've never been on this ride either. So I'll let you know what the name of it is and when I'm gonna get in line, what time I'm gonna get in line and how fast it takes me to get through the line and everything like that. Okay, so it's called Casino. It says no single riders. So I don't know if I can get on this ride, unfortunately. But if I could, walk on. But sad day, I can't get on this ride. I gotta be with somebody. So I guess we're gonna go over here and get on the Thunderbird. I think that's what this is called. And we'll see how long it takes me to get on this ride over here. Goodness, I am terrible at these uh, ride names. It is not called the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird was at the front, remember? I think, I don't know. This is the Steel Lasso. So it's our second coaster of the day. And we're gonna see how long it takes. Um, 212, and we're getting on in line. It doesn't look like the line is that long, but we'll see. I doubt that I can record on this ride, but I'll ask and see if I can do that. All right, here we go. Still lasso.
All right, so it is 2.28. Just got off the steel lasso. Uh, I got the record on that one. Uh, next, we are going to the 10 Lizards, which is just the, the cars. Uh, if you've seen some of our other videos, uh, Braylon likes to get on this one all the time. But it is a, counted as a ride, so I'm going to add it to the challenge today. Um, it looks like there's nobody on, so walk on. It's a... Uh, oh, Texas Rangers 228 and walk on like I said walk on it's pretty cool it's a theme for Halloween they got a spider and spider webs on it and stuff but yeah this is just a, a car like they have at most parks after this we'll head over to the Wildcat and I think there's like three more rides after that if y'all can see up there there's a Ferris wheel that is also another ride that is only uh, not only single rider you cannot be a single rider and ride that ride so we will not be getting on that ride after the wildcat we're gonna go do the bumper cars and then the tornado i think we still have the carousel left and then whatever the loop ride is and then i'll end with whatever the rapids is and hopefully i don't get super soaked all right so i stopped to get some gatorade behind me is the still lasso it is not running unfortunately I like this ride. It's like one of the only rides here that has an inversion. I think there's only two. Uh, the first one that I rode and that one. So, like I said, when we were on the cars, I'm going over to the Wildcat. It's 2.41 right now, and I'm just right outside the line. So, we're going to clock it at 2.41 and see how long it takes to get off of this ride. This is a roller coaster. It's a wooden roller coaster. It's one of the most popular roller coasters here at Frontier City. Behind it is the water park. I'm not doing any water park rides. Uh, I'm not going to get that wet. Uh, but yeah, 241. Let's get on. See how long it takes us. All right. There we go. It is 301 and I just got off that ride so not too bad honestly I forgot what time I got on the ride but I'll go back and put it down on the screen and tell y'all how long it took me to get on that ride and off of the ride and onto the next one but anyway I got like three more rides left I'm making my way to those right now do the bumper cars count as a ride or an attraction I don't know I'm just gonna get on them and included in this challenge because i don't know if that's a ride or an attraction but like i said i got like three or four more rides and then get something to eat get a snack and go home go watch some football today it's the first day let's go cowboys for my next ride i'm getting on the tornado and then i'll get on the bubble cars let's see what time is it uh can y'all see 304 and we're about to get online it's pretty much a walk-on i think i'll get on the next ride uh, but yeah, it just spins around. I don't know if I'm gonna record on this one. I'm just gonna chill out because y'all saw what it looks like. But anyway, about to get on. Actually, this might not be a walk on. So we'll see. 305 and getting on right now. I did manage to get on the ride just immediately, walk on. It's 307, I'm on the ride. I book with myself up, the guy's about to come, check, and then we're gonna go. Uh, like I said, I probably won't record myself because I. I know I look good, but this is probably an unflattering uh, ride to view me on because I'm just going to be spinning around and I don't want my camera to go all crazy like on the last ride. Anyway, after I get off this ride, I'll let y'all know what time it is. So it is 3.12. I just got off that ride, went over to the check the bumper cars, and 
I'm not counting that one as a ride. That's an attraction. It's not a ride. I kind of just don't want to get on it. But it, there was only like four people in line. Uh, so that's that's a walk on. That's only like five minutes of your time, 10 minutes of your time. Uh, I'm about to get on uh, here. I'm gonna go over here cause I'm not gonna record on this ride. Uh, this one right here. The one that goes around, whatever. So that's the ride I'm gonna get on next. It's 3.13. The queue starts over here. So we're starting this at 3.13 and I'm gonna make my way over there. And then I'll let you know how long it takes to get off. It's 3.28, just got off that ride. That was literally the longest ride I've ever been on in my life. That ride's so old and I don't recommend it because I was up there forever. Anyway, I'm coming to my next ride. It's this boat ride right here. You know, the one that swings back and forth. Like, wee, wee, wee. Pretty much a walk on. It's a 328, like I just said, and we're gonna get right on. That is gonna be it for today's video. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna go get on the rapids. I don't feel like getting wet. It's probably like a 10 minute wait. And then the carousel, I don't feel like getting on the carousel either. That was a walk on when I walked by it. So it is, let's see what time it is. Let me check. I got 3.33. That means we've been here for two hours and 30 minutes and got on every single ride except for those three rides that I don't want to get on. And like I said, those rides were walk-ons too. So if you're uh, wanting to come to Six Flags Frontier City, uh, especially on a Sunday, you can get through the park in like an, two hours and a half, two, two and a half hours, however you're supposed to say it. But anyway, I'm about to go get uh, some ice cream. They got Tillamook here, it's my favorite. And then that's gonna be it. Uh, thanks for viewing today's video. Like I said, uh, Halloween Horror Nights or uh, Halloween Horror Nights is coming up. And then we got Fright Fest. Fright Fest is gonna be here at Six Flags, but Halloween Horror Nights, that's going to be um, in Orlando. So that'll be on the vlog soon. Anyway, thanks for watching today's video and I'll see y'all.